Imagine that's just, that's just all you do. All right, let me just eat some hot dogs. I got training coming up. You know what ah. I want to know? I want to know if he has a girl. Negative. I want to know if he goes around. Or or if or. she's also in the contest for women. Like There's there, a woman's one. That no, she's team. probably the champ of that. There's you know what I really <laughs> want to know, though? I wonder if he's gay. What if he just likes glizzies that much? <laughs> <laughs> How many glizzies is he taking year round? That's that what I want to know. Is hilarious. Yeah, is that, that all you is. eat? Like, what are you doing? Here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you sleep with it? You have to get comfortable are with you those things. About so, yeah, it? You, yeah, exactly. Oh, tomorrow's the big day. What does your breath smell like? Oh, are man. those real no, glizzies no. or like <laughs> like? <laughs> what's that? That's a thought. <laughs> I go by the name of Bun. That's SB, the student over there. Behind the scenes, we got Knots. Find him on Instagram. Find him on the internet. Zealous. All that mids magic audio video behind the scenes. Keep him booked. Keep him busy. Only going up this year. That guy goes by the name of Lazy Jaw. The homie from way back. Best rapper out of Toronto. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, welcome back to another episode. This happens to be Speak Your Perspective. It's your if it's your first time here, welcome. If it's your last time here, close the door on the way out. SB, what's up? Yeah, I don't want to come across like I'm being like, uh, like I'm discriminating, right? Like we might as well just get right into it. Um, and it's nothing against like you know like like your yeah. Yo, put some of, energy in your voice, Doc. There's nothing. I'm, I'm actually <laughs> doing that right now because I don't want to come across arrogant or rude, right? And rude. I don't want yeah. I don't want people Whoa. like you know. I don't want people like you to feel bad or like I'm like knocking you guys, right? Do black people do that? Do they get hair transplants? Because it's a big thing in my they community. They do, but it's you've seen not, a black guy with, a, with 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 something done. I mean, they haven't spoken to me openly about it, but. I've heard a one two rumors here and there that a one two man got it that I happen to know. I haven't asked him about it, but I mean, one of them was kind of noticeable. The other one I haven't really taken into tough to even see, to be honest. I go to school. This is before school's out, right? I'm going to go pick up my daughter. And I see this guy. Obvious. Obvious as day. Because you know him from before? No. Okay. No. Like, it's just it's like the color difference. Um, the texture you could almost see it. The way that it's combed, it's always combed the same way. Yeah. Like it, it, it's just obvious, right? Okay. But I'm looking at it like, do you have to have, do you have more confidence pulling that off, or is it like it gives you more confidence doing it? Like I, I don't, I don't understand I have how no it works. Idea, because to yeah. me, it is what it is. I'll, it, it's hap- it happens, so it just it is what it is. It, it it's. The I reason- don't. I don't think I would ever. I don't care that much to go and try to reinvent it. If I were just on the brink of it starting and then I was like, oh, maybe I can save this. I might look into it and see how it works, how much it costs, whatever, whatever. Yeah. But to go lose it all and then to try to go back. Yeah. Nah, I'm good. That's your water. Can someone, can someone pay you enough to go do it? Like someone's like, yo, here's a free blank. Yeah. Like um, sponsorship maybe. Yeah. 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 Would you do uh, it then? Probably not still. Still not? I, I can respect that. I can respect that. That's what I mean by the whole respect or the the the, the confidence thing. Like it's I, like someone might say that it takes confidence to just be like, all right, I'm bothered. That's it. This is how it is. But then I think it almost takes confidence to go ahead and go pull that off. And then everyone knows that you don't have it, but you're walking around like, hey, what's up? And yeah. And people do it for different reasons. And it's also sure. like the, the type of peop, uh, people you're around also might play a part in it too. Sure. Because if you're in, let's say, Hollywood, where everybody's doing that stuff. Fair. Buddy, that, me that, getting a hair transplant. That's legit. Compared to you freaking go getting your whatever. Yeah. Your nose done, your lips done, your ass done, your tits done. What are you telling them all this about? Me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. But I mean, that's a big thing right now amongst women talking about getting their bodies yeah. done. And it's, it's not something I'm a fan of. This is why I even brought up turkey. Because I feel like I'll throw out another one there. Like, you know when girls get their, their chest done? And mm-hmm. then it's all messed up. You mm-hmm. hear about it all the time where they get their house done and it's all messed up. Mm-hmm. So obviously there's levels to it. You got to pay the price for it or whatever. So mm-hmm. Turkey is kind of known for the spot where you get it done properly and it's still affordable. Where you're not. Is it? Because that's what I hear. Right. Mm-hmm. So, so like Colombia and Dominican Republic are affordable. That's why. Yeah. 
I never looked that much into it. Yeah. Um, but those that I, those people that I know that have gotten it done and those that have gotten it done well have always recommended going to Turkey and some have gone to Turkey. Okay. But I can see how if you don't go there and then it's, it's not the same job comparing it back to the, to the plastic surgeries for some of these people and you just know it's off. Like one's bigger or they have an issue or whatever, okay. whatever. So I could see it being like one of those where it's just not done right. And you could just tell right out the gate. Oh, like, that's fake. And some people have like a real legit, Oh shit. Like I didn't even notice that you, you're okay with your girl that? getting it done with who getting it done your girl, getting implants or any of that stuff, getting her body done, whether it's her, why would I ever be good with that? I'm asking is a no question. shot. No shot. I'm like, I'm trying to be as natural as far. Yeah, I don't even have any tattoos, man. Like, um, it'll be obviously on her, but if she's asking me for like my permission yeah. or my opinion, yeah. nah, I'm not good with that. You think girls look at you as, I don't, I don't, uh, square, not necessarily the word I'm looking for, but boring, dull, I guess. Cause you don't have any tattoos. Cause I know that's a big thing right now. Yo, it's, it, it's all about your perspective. I could see that point of view. I mean, if you're looking for the guy with the sleeve and like whatever his face with some skeleton on it or whatever, I think the face is a bit too much. But let's it's just in the sleeve. It's in right now. Even a sleeve. I, I if I was to get tattoos, I'd probably be into all of that. But I can't get something meaningful enough for me to go put on a sleeve or something like that. Like it doesn't. There's nothing out there that would do it for me. Yeah, like how meaningful but, does it have to be for you to go and do it? Is what I'm trying to figure out. I almost because I like, see people with some random ass shit. Yep, but I see people with some real life stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like I, I'll compliment. I just did this recently, um, yesterday, literally. Mm -hmm. uh, I was at the gym, and so he had a tattoo of Baba Deep Singh, right? So for the Punjabi people, it's it's a it's one of our warriors that like really went to war super religious and all that mm -hmm. stuff. I haven't seen that on anyone else. Mm -hmm. And it was nicely done. Like, not a full sleeve, but, like, just this whole part, both sides. Mm -hmm. Compliment to the guy. Like, like, that's nice. That's different. I could see it meaning something. But, like, a Sagittarius sign or, yeah, or like, yeah, a Scorpio yeah, yeah. or your birthday <laughs> yeah, or yeah, yeah. whatever. Nah, I'm not feeling that. Like, that doesn't do nothing. Unless you can get creative with it. I've seen people do, like, Roman numerals in a way with something else. And all it really is is their birthday. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. There's ways of making it interesting. Yeah. It's just not for me right yeah. now. I would never say never, but like, I don't see myself ever doing Like my dad's got a tattoo. Like I don't have a tattoo. Like, I just know? feel a lot of people that you'll come across nowadays who are creatives in yeah. some way or another would have a tattoo because it's something that they would have like sort of crafted I, themselves in a way. I, I don't even think it's a creativity thing. Maybe it was initially right now. I think it's just, it's in. It's accessible, it's yeah, that easy, too. it's affordable. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's got it. I almost think I'm the minority not having one. Are right they now. affordable? I think it depends how intricate you're looking for. For sure. Like, and who you're getting it done from. I mean, like, if you want to get the, the off tilted yeah, yeah. job, then like there'll be a guy for that. And if you want to get it done legit from someone proper, then yeah, obviously there's a price tag to that too. It's something I've thought about for a while because I have a few meaningful things that I'd probably do. Like I what? just it's probably gonna be fairly expensive too. Mm. And it's one of those Do I really care to spend the money on that right now Or mm, should I go buy some stocks You know what I mean mm. What would it be You're not going to give it away it's I mean be. I don't have any <laughs> Yet No and I mean but like you're, you're at least You're at that stage of at least considering it And thinking about stuff Yes but my other thing is Because I have like Probably four really good ones I feel That people would really like Yeah it's going to be, a, I, if I do one, I'm going to want to do all of them. So you're doing it for the people? I'll, I'll, or like you want them? No, I I want them. But yeah. oftentimes they say once you do it, yeah, yeah. you're going to get hooked. I can see that. But um, why Why now? Why now? Why, so that's why? the other thing. Yeah. Like I'm, it's not like I'm outside, outside to show them off and like, oh, I'm the cool yeah. guy with these cool tattoos type shit. It's yeah. just, I'll look at them now and I'll watch my skin get older and wrinkly. Yeah. <laughs> people are paying. You know what I mean? People are paying to get them removed. Like we're we're at that stage too now, where it's just like, and that's another thing. Why would I want to go pay for that a second time? Exactly. Yeah. Your daughters come up to you and like, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get a nose job or 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 whatever's in at that time. Wow. Wow. Not to know. Would I? I mean, if I'm gonna be okay with it. Yeah. Or to, not okay. Like, what's your reaction? Okay, I want some titties. I'm gonna get this done now. At what age? I mean, at some point, I can't stop them. So I don't. I don't think if they're gonna. I don't do think it, we can stop them at, at like as soon as that 19 hits. Exactly. Really think there's like, much if they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it. Yeah. I'm not gonna feel positively about it. Well, what are you gonna say? Like, you're gonna are you gonna try to talk them out of it, or are you just gonna be like, nah, I'm not with it, or like, well, what is the reaction? I think I will try to talk them out of it in a way. I'd have to try to talk them out of it because. 
I've even heard of, um, not very personal, but sort of a friend of a friend who went and got some work done type stuff, and yeah, something happening while they were away, like somebody else had passed away, mm. and another story when somebody else, yeah, things are wrong. And funny enough, just the other day, I heard one more of um somebody having to go to the hospital to take care of some stuff because from like some sort a little of bit of a body work function, and yeah, because. There's like leaking that might happen, some tearing, scarring, random stuff, and they've had to go to the hospital for it. Yeah. I'm like, is it really worth it at the end of the day? And then even um well, DC Young Fly, the comedian, his right. wife passing away a couple months ago. That, right. What was that? Like two months ago, maybe? Let's no, just have a month some ago? fun. Let's just have some fun with this, right? Yeah. You have an option between like I don't know. She goes, I'm gonna get one of these four. You could say no to one of them, which is the one that's absolute no. Lips, tits, ass, like like what would be the no? Don't absolute do, no. Yeah, like don't please don't do this. Like if if you, had I feel a like chance. it had to be the lips. Anything Thank on the you. face. Thank is Thank you. Like yeah, never, yeah. Yo, don't lip, even think about it. The lips are rough. I yeah. I don't understand those lips. I mean, mind you, lips aren't really a common thing amongst black women, and fair. I mean, that's kind of my forte. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I just had the discussion the other day with somebody else because yeah. it was the same thing. The man said he's never had no pink toes. Mm. You know the pink toes, right? Nope, I don't know what a pink toe. I is. didn't know what a pink toe was until a couple of years ago too. Yeah. But you like how I played that. Though. It's like, white oh, women. Mm. It's white women. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never been with a white girl before. I do have a white friend, female, who's often like frequently, forever in a day, tries to tell me that I should try a white woman, but never been there before. That land is unknown. How about you? I've been around the block. Yeah, eh? been around the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've <laughs> been around the world. I, I was trying to do the diddy diddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, been around the world still. <laughs> yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. Damn, yo. Yeah. I'm limited still, I'm not going to lie. You got to expand your horizons, buddy. I just don't know how to do it. You know how to do it. I don't have the patience to do it. What makes you think that you require patience? You got to talk, communicate. Entertain. Like, wow, you just knocked off court. like the whole Bro. whatever you're hitting up. So that requires no communication. That requires no talking. They're just like lined up right there. I, I almost feel like I'm <laughs> at a point in life I should I should just start paying for it to be honest. Yo. Oh man, you know what? You wouldn't be wrong. Like it's it's the time. Only fans is in. Not it's that. Good. I it's mean clubs just, up. Come on, man, in the comfort nah, of your nah, own home, nah, you're not I'm, doing that? If I'm trying to go out, to tell you a little if, story if, and shit. If I'm trying to go out somewhere and it's like, all right, let's go. I need like a plus one, <laughs> let's go. Outside of that, don't link me, don't call me, don't nothing. Nothing wrong with that either. I'm that's how I see I, it. I'm messing with you though. I, just, I, I know you are. Yeah, I know you are. But yeah. I'm just saying that's probably the oldest business in the game. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> and the other thing to that is like you have to be able to finance that. Yeah, of course. And I never. I'm not gonna take my money waste on that stuff. But now it's kind of like. Meh. Better get this tattoo still. <laughs> <laughs> like the stocks. <laughs> Everything's down right now. <clears throat> yo, yo, I know I'm funny, but it was it was, it was not. Now nah, you know, I'll tell you exactly what that is. And I was just going to bring it up with you too, because yeah. I was going to ask how the weekend was and how where my mind went with that was, yo, I was outside all weekend, yeah. but the air out there, yeah. it's, pff, it is not good, yo, especially for somebody like me who has asthma. They, they canceled the, the fireworks. In Niagara, I was out in Niagara. Oh, yeah? yeah, they canceled the fireworks because they were talking about the air quality and all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah, Montreal so, canceled their fireworks too. Yeah, that's and, lame, yo. And I'm like, well, it's not lame. It's, uh, yeah, I know it's it, it's lame because it's happening. Like, how did we get here all that, of a sudden? This is that, crazy. It would have sucked if I had my kids with me when oh, we go yeah, there to watch sure, fireworks. Sure, then sure, I would have sure, been yeah, devastated. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah, we came here for nothing, but that, that was not the the weekend flex. But um, I don't. I'm not bothered by this whole air quality thing. Right now, but you never know in a couple of weeks. Maybe. Yeah. But everyone's been talking about it for this whole, since this whole thing's been going on. I yeah, haven't noticed like any difference. Like a week and a half. Well, and I'm out there. Two weeks. But now is when it's been bad because yeah. I think Friday or Saturday was the worst air we've seen in forever in a day. Not, not, not to indulge in what I'm about to say because we go here quite a bit, mm. but they're always telling us something. Like, if they, if no mention was made of the air quality or this mm. thing that's going on over there with the fires, do you think anybody would have even known the difference? I mean, there are people who think that they're lighting these fires just so they're in the news <laughs> constantly in front of our face so that they're burying other stuff. Because I don't know if you heard about the the 
cocaine that was found in yeah, the yeah, White House, yeah, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, 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 this is the thing that bugs me too, right? Like in a humorous kind of way, yeah. where someone will be like, hey, don't pay attention to this because yeah. find out what really happened this week and did you yeah. know that this was the leaked and that was leaked and this was deleted. And it's like, bullshit, whatever, all that. Somewhere, yeah. And I'm like, bro, you really think that they can't just hide stuff under the rug without you knowing it? You think they're pu- putting out everything for you to see it and then that that whole it's thing it's not that it's just once the story comes out they know have to they have to manipulate the public because people are going to find out the stories just not the masses are going to find out the are stories. we not talking about all these it's alien not be sightings part of the now. headlines like, like like all these alien sightings that have been happening that I fbi's fbi's like oh yeah we've reported seeing aliens like is it just a matter of time before their technology is so superior they as in whoever we think is governing us as in like the u.s or whatever and then boom here's oh, an yeah, alien they, now they control everything you know that. what i mean so here here like nothing else matters besides america the, and it's the, starting to really piss me the, off the, the u.s government's got an alien pretending to be an alien meanwhile they're just you know doing some ai programming in the back end for them to say some stuff against putin and then <laughs> like it's somebody sent me a clip of joe budden so those guys a punk in canada on some like there's a canada day yeah you know know what i was with that shit uh, uh, uh. No, I'm the only one. I mean, I could say the same thing and be like, there was a Fourth of July. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> but we know that there's a Fourth of July. Kind of. Like, we don't, don't know. I don't even know what it means. What does it stand for? What is it? Like, they're, they're what is it? They're independence. Oh, yeah, there you go. So I didn't know that. Well, I guess maybe I knew that and I forgot about so it. So how did you know it? Because they have fireworks on that day? Exactly. Exactly. And because and they're probably rap lyrics where they're always talking about something, something, something. Like July. Fourth of July. Yeah. Like, so. yeah. Well, the other thing they celebrate on July 4th is that stupid hot dog eating contest. Okay. You set our highlights for that foolishness? No. Yo, somebody needs to punch this guy in the nose, yo. I don't understand why who? he does. Who? What's his name? Joey Chestnut or something like that? The I guy who wins every year. Oh. It's the same guy that wins every year. I didn't know that. Well, you think some? Like, trust me, it's the same guy who's been winning for the last 12 years, yo. And he's alive. Bruh. Yo, what's this guy on? Exactly. What's Thank the, you. He's what, probably an alien. I want to know what kind of water he's drinking. You. <laughs> Somebody needs to really go find out what this guy's diet is like year round. Is he training for this? He's got to be training of for course, it. Of course, yeah, because he ups it every year. Like last year was 58, this year is 66. Is there money in this? Of like course, is, like yeah, how yeah, much? Yeah, is he making yeah, like good yeah, coin off this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, 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 no. Not good. Not for that one event, but I think what it is, he, you know what? He might even do this stuff. Does he have better sponsors than year. us? Buddy, I don't know. I got to enter this contest then. Like this, because you think you could do it? No, no shot. I got no shot. I'd be done at like two, max. Yeah, eh? yeah. It's a like, lot of hot dogs, bro. Yeah. What do you want me to say? Pause. Like, <laughs> I, 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 exactly. I was waiting for it because two. I don't think two's a lot. What is he eating compared to him? Sixty something, yo. That's nuts. In the time frame. I don't know, two minutes, three minutes, whatever. I want to know what the workout I can't looks stand like. Looking at it, to be I want, honest, it's I, disgusting I, to me. I want to know. Because you see the juices like running out. What were you going to say? You don't want to know his workout? I, I want to know what the workout's like. Yeah. I want to know what the training's like. I want to know how much money he's making. Because that's a. Imagine that's just, that's just all you. All right, let me just eat some hot dogs. I got training coming up. You know what ah. I want to know? I want to know if he has a girl. Negative. I wonder if he goes around, or or if course. she's also in the contest for women. Like, there's there, a woman's one. That no, she's team. probably the champ of that. There's you know what I really <laughs> want to know though. I wonder if he's gay. What if he just likes glizzies that much? <laughs> How many glizzies is he taking year round? That's that what I want to know. Is hilarious. Yeah, is that all you eat? Like, what are you doing? Here? <laughs> Do you sleep with it? You have to get comfortable are with those things. About so, yeah, it? You, you, uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, tomorrow's the big day. What does your breath smell like? Oh, are man. those real no, glizzies no. or like, <laughs> like <laughs> what's that? <laughs> that's a thought. Oh man, that because uh, even funny. to have all that juice flowing out of the, I'm telling you, it looks like water running out of that shit at the same time. <laughs> you watch and it'll it? be drink. We run it on the news every year whenever it happens. Okay, so gotcha. I'm constantly seeing that foolishness, yo. That is it's funny. annoying to me. I can't help. I can't look at it. It's so nasty to me. It's disgusting. He's won it back to back. Even that hot dog juice? Come on. <laughs> we need to do a real deep dive and find out what this guy's entire life is like. I'm going to do it just for shits and giggles. I'm going to come up with a little biography for this guy. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to find out what this guy's thing is like. And maybe we could zoom him in on a conversation and, yeah, be, yeah. Like, and be like, yo, what's, what, what's, what is it like? Coach us. <laughs> you know we should do with that jerk? You know we should, we should do that jerk chicken competition? Jerk chicken contest. How much jerk chicken can you eat in two minutes? Hey. Hey. How hey. about that, Nat? <laughs> okay, so now that we're back there, yo, we got to set a date for that too. 
I think I have one. Okay, good. But uh, we'll talk about it in the break because we can't. I don't want to throw it out on here and then yeah, we yeah, have to yeah, figure yeah, out things yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back with some more SUP. Boom. This episode is brought to you by Body Ammo. More than a look, it's a lifestyle. Pick up some Body Ammo to protect your mind, body, and soul. Now, back to some more of SUP. So, yo. I got a story to tell you, bro. Let's go so, fly a kite. Uh, on my way back from the mechanic, right? Mm. I pull up at uh the light. Yeah. And um, I see this guy outside begging for money. So by that point, I'm like way back trying to make a left-hand turn. You know that should hit you with it? Let's go fly a kite. I almost told you to do that. Um... So, one of those advanced greens, a bunch of cars go through, then I pull up now. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure I was the second car from the lights now at this point. But it's coming like my boy decides to take a break from what he's doing because he never came to my window, nor did he come anybody, go with anybody else's. But what I did see him do is reach into his pocket. Yeah, when I see the man struggle to pull out the Kyle of money, doc, the man was like on some like, yo, and then the money busts out. And he had to like grab it and hold on to it real quick. So yo, watch. Y- you should be playing that. Every- on, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I was gonna say. On, I was gonna say every day I'm hustling. <laughs> <laughs> yo, immediately I'm like, yo, I'm in the wrong business, bro. Yeah. The man had to hold on to his money like this, you know, dog. To make sure it never fell down. Yeah, you think he's flossing on you? Like Bro. he looked at you, didn't ask you. He's like, "Yo, you think I need Dick to- Joe?" Yo, <laughs> at, <laughs> at that point, it was not even eleven o'clock in the morning yet. Damn, Bush. trust me, yo. So maybe he's like, and the- that's tax free. Maybe he's the boss. Come on, them he's the one that you know the the uplink. And I've, the thing is, I've always wondered, like, do these guys even go block for block? Like, are there mans that run certain territories? Like, yo, don't come on my block. This is my block. You like, don't watch Slumdog if I catch you all here. What? You don't watch Slumdog Millionaire. A long time ago. Is that what it was about? I don't remember them. I nah, saw, a, I saw, but I don't remember it. They have a scene where, like, you know, they, they set yeah, them eh? up and put them in places and yeah. cut up their arms and all that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But, well, Canada is not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Keep Trudeau in office yeah, yeah, and we'll yeah. see what happens. Yeah, yeah. So. Give it another give it, give it another three months. <laughs> but I fuck. Come on, <laughs> Man, you're going to see me out there with some signs soon. <laughs> 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 Try some jokes, do some open mics live <laughs> at an intersection. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, you got to do what you got to do. You got to do what days, you got to do, man. But yeah, I saw this guy sitting there counting the money and I just got so cheesed. So what did I do? Took off my phone and recorded that because I'm like, yo, people wouldn't even believe me if I told them this story. Yo, give the intersection. Yo, the Kyle of money, bro. You said give him Highway 7 on Western Road. If anybody knows that guy, let us know. I'm going to go rob him. <laughs> I thought about that too. <laughs> Winner, Ganyo. John knows I thought about that too. I'm going to pull up. Stop. John knows I thought about that too, yo. Wave a little 20 at him. I'm Wave like, would a little I, 50. Would, would, I be, would I be wrong for linking the man and running up on this guy right now? Like, I, I clearly see what he's holding on to. I don't know. Where's he going to go? Hustle is going to hustle. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, where's he going to go? Yeah, he can't run home. That's his spot. He just baited out his whole scene. It's clearly not doing it right. You need to start making it work for you. <laughs> I think you missed my punchline, though. I said he can't run home. <laughs> ah, I did miss that. I did miss that. That is pretty funny. But, yo, if he's on money like that, I, I know you're joking. I, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. <laughs> that was a good punchline. That's right. <laughs> All of those thoughts, believe me, I had them, too, because I'm like, there's no way this is Guani right now. Man. Shoot. That's a lot of money, man. What was that? 20s? Come on, them is that 20s? I saw twenties, fives. I could, honestly, I, I I honestly believe I did see a hundred dollar bill on the inside. I could be wrong. Nah, no one's giving a hundred, bro. Remember I said. Remember I said it, that's Vaughn, eh? Okay, yeah. yeah. I don't think big houses, giving, bro. I don't think anyone's giving him a hundred. What? I don't think people are walking. You never know, hundreds. man. Yo, I've heard stories of people literally walking. They see all the time on the internet now too. But I know, I know of somebody who's done it before, and they gave out a good amount of money mm. in that one day. He likes to say, "Do you remember that story from a long time ago, where they like someone followed one of these people home?" And I don't even think it's politically correct to call them bums, but like whatever you're supposed to call them, homeless people. And mm. then back then, 
they walked into a they fo- they got followed. They walked into like some luxurious condo, and then yeah, yeah, just, just yeah, went yeah. up. And this is like yeah. fifteen. I don't know, Shaky whatever. lady. So so yeah, whatever. It Shaky was. lady. Yeah, she so was downtown. I guess there is some sort of truth to that whole yeah, business. So, okay, so then uh, to further the story, I happened to see one of my coworkers yesterday and shared the story with him, and then he told me that in his hometown, yeah, uh, he used to work at a restaurant. Yeah, and one of those guys would come on come in off of the street. Yeah. Into the restaurant, like one or two days out of the week. Yeah. He smelled because he lived on the street. So he would literally clear out the entire bar and those guys would serve him a couple of beers. Mm. He would always leave a $20 tip at the end of the night. What are you talking about? How are you leaving $20 tips and you're homeless, bro? That don't make no sense to me. And that's why I often think sometimes. Come on, them I, I, I've uh, shifted what I do now. So two things. One, I don't know if I've shared this story. Have I shared what like like how they are in India? Not really, no. All right. So in India, like you could hit that button all day long. Like it's yeah, a, it, yeah. it's another level. It's another how level. How bad is it? It's pretty bad. With so, what? They're just begging I'll, like straight I'll, up I'll, or they're like trying to hustle or something. I'll tell you a story. Hit that story <laughs> time button right now. Let's go fly right, a so kite. We're in India, right? So my mm-hmm. my parents um go back, we all go back often. Yeah. But my parents moved out since they were like sixteen. So they're not they're like hybrids you know what i mean okay. so they lived in england for like 20 plus years and then they're in india all right cool so we go back often yeah anytime there's one or two people that are begging for money they'll pull out they'll give and then there's a crowd yeah and yeah and then my like parents, within how many seconds or like you count bro like it, yeah it, it, right. it, it, it's happening like they, they see what's going on it, it's going down and this is again time ago uh because if they've they, 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 smartened up yeah. but, but they'll, they'll, i'm not joking like when i say a crowd i mean like here comes two here comes five more then there's like 10 like 10 20 like it gets big it gets really big and even the way that they're dressed it would be different so they already know okay we're gonna make some money and then my parents are i don't want to call them suckers like they're they're naive man like they're kind-hearted and then they'll be like all right it, it's they're believing that this is going for the story that this person is telling them oh my yeah. kids in school all oh, this happened and then uh, some of them pretend like they got a kid under there or Are whatever you serious? yo it is that's like, how far they go with it man i'm telling you so <laughs> so this 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 is a real story that i'm there for now right so then my my mom's brother he lives there still right and he's like he's making fun of my mom he's like yo you get you think they're like they really need this or that they're gonna do what they're telling you with it they're not even gonna go buy any food with it like they're probably gonna go get some drugs or something like that right and i'm not saying all of them do that some people really do need the money and i understand that but there's a lot of rotten apples my mom takes that in and she goes, okay, you know what? I'm going to give him atta or, or um, man, what is that in English? Um, what do you make like uh, flour, right? So they can make roti, right? So they go to like a little local shop or whatever. The whole lineup's following her and I'm watching this whole thing. This is before cell phones. Man, I wish I had a cell phone for this whole thing. Mm. She's giving them a pound of flour or whatever it was, whatever measurement it was, right? All right. There's a whole lineup there. She's paying for all that. As we're like, all right, we're done now. My 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 uncle or my mama, that's what we call. My hold mama's on. like hold on, you call your uncle your mama? Yeah. Your mom's brother is a mama, right? So Ma Ma? Yeah. Yeah. Even that, the way that you just said it yeah. right there, is that bond is supposed to be super close. So you call your mom ma, right? Yeah. You call your mama mama. Cause that's how close that bond's supposed to be. So that that's the whole thing behind that, right? Okay. So we're we're with him. He's like, I've had enough of this. This is like, whatever. Hold on. So what do you call your aunt? His wife? Or your mom's sister? Masi. Masi? Yeah. And what about your mama's wife then? Still the same thing? Masi? Mommy. Mommy? Yeah. So what do you call your mom? I call her mom. This is too much, bro. So Mama. <laughs> mama. Well, I mean, mom, I, mommy, well, I mommy, guess. Mom, mom, mommy. <laughs> yeah, but what do you call your mom? Like right now, like mom, mom. Mom or mommy? I call my mom nothing right now. <laughs> yeah, I call, I call her. I say mama. Your mom? Yeah, mama. Mama? Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Okay, now I'm confused all over again, though. So Mama? You, mama. <laughs> what, there's tones that you're supposed to use? I use tones. A mama is just everyone says that to their yeah. mom's brother. Okay. Mama is just what I say. Someone could say mommy. Someone could say whatever. Because I was going to say, like, we'll still like, get... You, you, like yeah, amongst our culture, we'll still refer to our friend's mom as our like a mom or a mummy or whatever. We'll do like, that too. Yeah, but yeah. um, within our family tree, we don't necessarily call somebody else anything close to being mom. So 
I don't know. Yeah, it's not really that it's close to being mom. It just sounds like that because to me, the word just, I mean, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So to me, it's just it, it's a representation of the how, how close the relationship is supposed to be, which makes a lot of sense to me, though. Yeah, yeah. Um, everybody has a different title. It's not uncle and aunt. Mm. Like everything, like even like like like. Yeah, but I hear you guys use the word uncle though. Who do you, you guys? I love this. I um, hear <laughs> South Asians use yeah, uncle yeah, 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 in yeah. reference to. A person. Yeah, that's fine. Then maybe they're doing it for you. But like, I mean, within, within. Nah, I mean, I, I hear them ref- referring to somebody else. Like, no, I don't somebody tell else. you. Like, like Punjabi I people are I've supposed to have their, like everything. Like your brother, your elder brother is called one thing. Or for my kids, my elder brother is called something else. If I had a younger brother, it'd be called something else. Like it's, it's, it's just specific. Because, um, this is French to me. It's all becoming so confusing. Though. Why? Because, look, check it out. Because in France, you have the masculine, the feminines. It doesn't have nothing to do with that. It's just about having a title. Opposed to everyone's your uncle and aunt. Like, pretend you're talking about someone that's your uncle or your aunt. And no one knows what the relationship is. Now they're going to have to ask you what the relationship is. Then you got to explain what the relationship is. Or you so got to use their name. You're saying because it's a specific term, it's like everybody knows exactly who that person it is. It makes it a lot easier. It does. It makes it a lot it easier. Does. Like, okay. for example, mom's got like eight or nine sisters. So me saying musty isn't yeah, going to yeah, help, yeah, yeah, but yeah. you'll know as soon as I say musty that it's my mom's sister. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and yeah, if yeah. I say master, that it's like one of the husbands. So there's, it makes it makes sense. It's yeah, just yeah. one of those. Shout out to all the Punjabis that get it. Yeah, yeah shout them a, all out. Bro. Yeah, a dog. So now we're walking away from that shop where we've given out all this flour. Mm-hmm. Aren't they selling the flour at another shop, wow. bro? Wow. You're yeah. quick with it. Yo, they don't I, waste no time. I eh? was shocked wow. at that. So after that, um. I'll still give money here and there, but my mm. preference is give them a bottle of water, give them food. I do that sort of stuff now. And mm. I, I try to teach my kids the same thing. So like you, you see them on the highways all the time or wherever you see them. Um, and usually I always have water on me. If you know that, you know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Toss them a bottle of water, give them some food. Take a bottle or glass. <laughs> I mean, when you're over there, is it bottled water? You over there. Be, you find that rich boy glass water stuff over there? No, no, no. There it'll be strictly f- fruits. Fruits are everywhere. So yeah. food, like a okay. form of food. But yeah. I'm not, like I'm not handing out money anymore. Like I don't, I don't, nah. I don't know where that's going. Even here, I don't know where that's going. Exactly. Yeah, so. I just couldn't water. believe I sat there and watched this guy count his money. Could, and you would think I'm that he'd. Surprised. But you think he'd go find some corner somewhere. If he was and smart. Then, exactly. In the but middle of the intersection, he's, bro. He's probably high. What are we doing? He's high on the job, man. <laughs> <laughs> Blew at his own spot. That's wild. I mean, you see what hat he has on. I don't know if you got to take that part down. You can watch it back again. I'll show it yeah, to you. I can see it. But yeah. <laughs> probably, yo. Hadouken! Uh. I'll give you a Hadouken. Yeah. So before you got here, uh, Nats and I were having a conversation, right? Yeah. And uh, he was sharing his story about having to go to the mechanic. Mm. And I was giving him my story about uh, um, a technician that had to fix something at my house. Mm. Um, this guy tried to charge me $245 for about mm, 20 minutes of work. Mm. And then Knotts was telling me about his experience at the mechanic where they were trying to charge him twice the price his regular mechanic would have charged him. Yeah, so I was just sitting here in my my annoyance having to deal with the experience because I right after I went to go look at the reviews for that company, these guys are like one point three stars. You looked at the review after? Yeah. Nah. It went trust right me, there. I I I when it comes to certain things, I don't even think to go look at reviews, but now is when I'm starting to become a big Google I, reviewer. I, I, I I'm checking out what's going on with your stuff. So when I was going on all these trips everywhere, not knowing nothing, travel advisory. Or was it TripAdvisor? Yeah. It's a big one for me when I'm yeah. whatever. I, I still remember. I don't have time for that. Like, I don't have patience. You got to make time for that. Trust me. When you're sitting in something where nothing is working or you are not yeah. enjoying that experience, you're going to be like, yo, why not? Actually, this is a great example of that right now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I know. Yeah. yeah. So so imagine like you're flying across the world. Like you're, you're, my example was Egypt. I was going to Egypt at the time. And like, that was like probably one of the first times where I'm like, I should really start paying attention to where I'm going to be staying and stuff. And this is when the whole thing was going on, the whole drama in Tahiri Square and mm-hmm. all those suicides and killings and the whole thing was up. And that's when you decided to go there. Yo, I'm crazy like that, bro. I even went to Tahiri Square when that whole thing was going on. I saw where the tape was. I saw like, I have videos of it and everything where we had like a guy guiding us or showing us. And you know what like, that I'm was, not nice. further. This guy probably got that flight for dirt cheap at that point in time too. Eh? That's why you went. I did. I was. I was with. Uh, I was dating. <laughs> I was with somebody that had flight benefits. That's when I started to look at reviews for everything: food, 
places that I'm staying, something that I'm purchasing, even if it's online, I look through it. Like, almost yeah, I started looking at stuff if I'm making a purchase Not, for an item. I'll give you another tip though. Hold on, sorry. Don't just look like they have five out of five. Look how many people have actually like clicked on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, Like, yeah, is yeah, it just yeah. four people and like they got their, hey, hey, Joe, like go, go like my shit and yeah. give me the five stars or whatnot. That goes back to the point I'd made in one of our other episodes too when it came to the election mm. and how you'll look at the poll numbers and oh, 33%, but that could be 33% of 20 people. Yep. You know what I mean? Versus thirty three percent of three thousand people. Yeah. So you have to check those numbers at the same time as well, because that's going to give you yeah. a better picture as to what it actually is. If someone's got a low review up there, and this is like now just marketing speaking, yo, they mm-hmm. got a bad experience, bro. People mm-hmm. have had bad experience, and they're voting on that to let you know that yo, don't go here because these mm-hmm. guys are trash. Exactly. And you got to go out of your way to do that. Not just hate's not just going to do it, you know. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like I should now go and leave a review myself. You. But that's. 100% shit. I just don't have the patience to shit well, there there's and There's going to be another bun that shows up and goes, oh, man, these guys yeah, 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 scam me. I know. I know. Um, told me they're going to fix my appliance. and The other part I couldn't understand is why he was giving up, like, uh, giving me so much pushback. And, bro, the first thing you should do is listen to me as the customer and understand exactly what my issue is as opposed to trying to talk over me. Okay. And it was something very simple, and I couldn't understand why this guy really couldn't just figure it out, bro. Like, I, I, trust I, me, though. I could even tell you that. What? You're in a people-facing business. Am I safe to say that? Uh, eh, not really. So, yeah, you're not, right? You're kind of behind deal with the customers scenes. Anything, yeah, yeah, you're behind the scenes. Yeah. Um, Communications industry, is, there is no communication. Like, <laughs> I'll, I'll say it like this. I, I've been in a lot of customer-facing yeah, industries yeah, yeah. where you're directly speaking to them heck i'm in yeah. it right now you know and we understand that knowing that i i gotta talk to this person and maybe he's frustrated he's having a bad day but customer comes first type of deal right or mm. the way to just have that communication not everyone's built like that some people give you a good story you go to some jerk chicken spots bro they, they, there is no please or thank you it's like Yo, like, like, you know what I mean? Like, there is, there is, I like you know. How, I like how each other hide it by saying jerk chicken spots. You can just say West Indian style I, I guess restaurants. I, I was specifically talking about a Black spot restaurants. I, I don't want to say don't black. don't need the B word? I had, definitely can't use the N word. <laughs> I, I'm not there yet, eh? I'm not there yet. Damn. <laughs> I need to call it that joke. <laughs> this guy said the uh, jerk chicken restaurant. I'm saying that because that's exactly where I was. Yeah. I wasn't saying black restaurants. I'm not afraid to say that. I wasn't at a black restaurant. Well, I I guess it is a black restaurant but i'm being what, even more what, specific what? i'm being even more specific oh I, well, that's yeah. Funny. yeah it's just like, like like she might as well just like been kissing her teeth the whole time like oh trust just, me i know yeah yeah so not everyone is taught to you know listen to the person or whatever you didn't care what you were saying dude he's got like two reviews on there and they're Bro. negative and he, but and he, he already took your money but <laughs> he was even on some uh i just work for the company bro like so if that's the energy you're going to take, then keep it the entire way. Yeah, that's a, but that's a real one too. Listen to me and just walk away then. Why are you even putting up a fight with any of this? Okay, so to that point, so yeah. Whole Foods pays their employees more. Okay. Just for that. Yeah. So yeah. they care more about their job. They're more polite. They're more friendly. And they, you know, have a smile on their face and all yeah. that stuff versus... I don't know. I was going to say Food City for fun, but like, let's just say price. Price doesn't even inside there. Like food basics or something like that. They, they don't care. I think it's aisle 12. Like, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? They don't, they don't give a, uh, but yeah. it costs money to, to pay for that sort of service. The other part to that same conversation Nats and I were having was how loyal are you to your mechanic? Because um, Nats has to travel. <laughs> 100 kilometers to the other side of the city yeah to go check his like mechanic mechanic yeah as opposed to where he lives now because he moved from that side of the city i'll ask you that um to go deal with somebody else yeah but i'm a man that i do i kept going to my mechanic who it's the good enough of drive to to get to him but it's that loyalty that's still there's like i don't trust nobody bro I... i'm not putting my trust like that into anybody else yeah, no, that makes sense. I guess you have to. The closest thing to me would be a barber or was a barber. And that, yeah, because that was the other thing. Yeah. I don't, Oftentimes, Nats had said it, you don't see people leave their mechanic, their barber, or their church. Doctor, dentist. Those two. Yeah, those are yeah. yeah. You don't I, often change that. I've kind of changed everything right now. You have, you're saying? Yeah. Mechanic, I have to. Exactly. So, so, yeah. I, so yeah. I, I go where I go. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, haircuts, I've switched it up quite a bit too. The guy that I was loyal to is just, he's gotten really old and yeah. he's losing it. And then he kept cutting his days back. Yeah. I'll still go to him once in a while, but not as much. Yeah. And then it depends on what I'm doing. Like right now I'm growing my hair. So I'm very specific with what I want to get done. Not everyone yeah. can do that. Uh, dentist, I just switched recently because hit that button. <laughs> Which they were, Come on, them there. they were getting audited. So they couldn't accept the uh, Sun Life stuff. So I had to. Um, Whoa. go to someone else for my, my, <laughs> my benefits. Yeah. yeah so I had to switch that up. Yep. Doctor. I had the same doctor. I had the same doctor for a while. Yeah. But I don't go to the doctor much. Like I don't. Not as much as you're supposed to. Eh? How often are you supposed when to go? When was the last time you went? <clears throat> I've gone recently. I've gone recently because uh, I wanted to get a whole checkup done. But like, let's just say in the last 10 years, I've probably gone like maybe Bloody. three times. You have to start getting a bit more frequently. I go to an iridologist. A what? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> an eye iridologist. Iridologist. I already. Yeah, <laughs> that's it, funny. Yo. It, it's a. Uh, it's that like sounds a, like something they just created. Because you know they put once the know. iPhone came out, they started putting eye on everything. Ah, uh, you're funny. <laughs> that's funny. Nah, he's eye pro, eye realty. Like yeah, you, yeah. I've seen them all. No, no, no. it's uh, basically it's supplements. It's all natural stuff, mm -hmm. but but. You you is go that in a naturopath. There's a difference between that. There, there's a bit of a difference because he's okay. taking a picture of your eyes. He's taking a picture of your okay. eyes, and he's basically giving a diagnosis of what's wrong with your body, what's missing, what you're lacking, what you need to do a little bit more of. And uh, not nah, so you hearing this rich nigga shit, yo. Yo, it's it's <laughs> it, 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 it's on. <laughs> is this on the whole uh, hood rich or bougie shit? Like, yeah, it yeah. is. I know. Yo, he, it's better that. You, I think people that go to doctors are rich. You're paying more going to a doctor and yeah. eventually taking whatever you need to take to fix this thing and then screw up that other thing and yeah. then go get that thing yeah. fixed and yeah. whatever, whatever, whatever. But <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's I'll just mess with you. I'm messing with you. No, no, no. But yeah. I, I get it. I get it. it, it it's not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> but he does the trick, though. He knows things that are happening before they're happening. And it's, yo, you can't be like, Dead on every time. Like his sister used to do it before. Mm -hmm. I almost feel like I should give him a shout out to Dr. Muhammad. Thank you. I mean, send his card before you leave today. So yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I've uh, people should be going to this person, man. Um, if he's accepting new clients, but yeah, I'll definitely leave that uh, information. I mean, question for you because yeah. we're getting up there in age now. Yeah, and you got to start doing that. Uh, they've expanded that. <laughs> They're saying you got to be like fifty before. You have to get a so no, no, we're good. We're good. He does that stuff too, though. No, I just want to. I just want to <laughs> know how comfortable I need to get with him. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, not even doing that. But um, I don't think that's his realm. I don't know. I don't even know how that really works, bro. Neither I do just, I. I just know the last time that I went that I did have that conversation. I don't know. He, Oh, you've okay. already inquired about that? Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, watching yeah. like a Russell Peters special and he was talking about it. Okay. Yeah, Russell Peters is hilarious. Shout out Russell Peters. There's two things that I got from a special that I didn't even know about that right. he just put out. And this is completely right. We're just going off. We're up right now. On, uh, I, I think it was called, I don't even know Russell what the special Peters was like called. The great, the great Brown Hope. He's a Great Brown <laughs> He's Hope? like the Great Brown Hope. I thought that was Sunny Dill still. <laughs> 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 yeah, but um, that's where all the Punjabis. Um, He's making. He's doing an episode in Bombay, so that's or Mumbai. That's where he's doing his whole thing. Okay. He used to box too, oh, so yeah. he's talking about how he, his doctor lifted up his nose, and he's like, "Oh my god, I could breathe so much better." But apparently, he had like a broken nose, and he had to get some stuff done to his nose. Mm -hmm. Hilarious, because I had to go get that whole thing checked out too. Apparently, mm -hmm. had the same issue. But then he's talking about why um, you can only breathe out of one nostril. My is it? my no, one nostril is better than the other. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so. But mine's probably because of boxing, too, because I think my whole thing's been shifted up. So I, I don't even know what those specialists are called, but I went to one of those guys, too, to go take a Funny look at Funny thing is, there. I have a friend that got his taken care of yeah. um, years ago. Yeah. And he was we used to work together, and yeah. he was away for a couple of days. Yeah. He came back after, like, whatever, it was three days, and this guy's like, yo, my entire life just changed. I swear to God, it's that good, eh? Yo, he's like... I couldn't believe that this is, is it existed. The only thing holding me back... And he's like, yo, I was supposed to be breathing like this the entire time? I already know this. I already know that I could be breathing a lot better. Um, I love how we're just going off. But, but this was like 12 years ago. This is, yeah, this, this is a long time ago. Like 15 years ago, maybe. My conversation with this person was like less than two years ago. Mm -hmm. I went there, but then he's like, you can't be doing that stuff anymore. Mm -hmm. You can't be in any more combat sports. I'm not going to go do this procedure. And then you go and mess it up again. Like that makes no sense. Mm -hmm. At the time, I was still doing Brazilian jiu-jitsu and like, you know, people shoulder you and stuff like that. And I was considering doing boxing again. So I'm on the fence of it but when you say stuff like that and i hear stuff like that and it's life-changing and i could believe that because i feel like i don't 
I don't think my body gets the amount of oxygen I'm supposed to have. Straight up. I just learned about breathing down to my diaphragm, like not even that long ago. I did mm-hmm. pure chest breathing. Mm-hmm. That was one of the things that he said on the special. And then the next one that he said was, what is that? The the colonoscopy? That's what we're talking about, right? Mm-hmm. And then he talks about that. And then he brought up that you got to be older and all that stuff. I'm like, yo, that's, I, I should go check that out. And that's when I went and brought mm-hmm. it up to the doctor. He's like, no, you're good. You got another 10 years or whatever it is before you have to do anything. <laughs> and hopefully by then they make it another 10 or something. Like, <laughs> It's probably like as long as you stay away from those hot dogs, you'll be good. I was, yeah, I was just about to say that. I'm like, <laughs> I wonder how often that hot dog guy has to go do that. <laughs> exactly. He's probably volunteering for that. Exactly. We're spreading rumors out here. We're <laughs> Imagine it's hey, man, though. we're just speaking from our perspective. Yeah. And on that note, I'm, we're going to take another break because I got to fill up. Yeah, yeah. Drink some water. I love how you didn't put it <laughs> you know on those me. Having no, I, 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 love how you I don't know. go visit a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna be like, yo, this guy's gotta take a leak. I probably that too. <laughs> Whether leisure or athletic, business or casual, be the first, not the last, to grab yourself some First King clothing. Visit firstkingclothing.com. Wants to be king. My bad, SB. I forgot to big up the big homie last segment. First King Clothing. Go check him out on the internet. First King Clothing Co. Uh, one st clothing dot com. <laughs> Not so throw the key in there, but uh, he's got some new stuff on the way, along with some more new stuff, and I think I saw some other new stuff. But come to think of it, we need some new stuff. So, First King, holla at me. He and I actually uh, got together over the weekend. Went to the range. When was the last time we went to the range? We ain't talking the gun range. <laughs> Driving range. Um, it's been a hot minute. I played yeah, in yeah. some. Yeah, I played a course a year ago, a year and a half ago. Um, it was more like a. I don't even remember how to describe it. Like for some fundraiser, some charity thing. Yeah, group, right. they grouped us up. Yeah, yeah, they grouped us up. Um, I was lucky to be in a group where the person that was playing with won a tournament at that same place mm. previously, so he could kind of guide me, tip me off on like what to improve. So I was getting mm. better, like fucking each hole. I do swear a lot, but yeah, <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't, yeah. But go on, I, I, I would. It would be something fun to take advantage of, man. I would love to actually learn how to golf more. But yeah was, funny enough i'll tell you off air uh, another conversation i was having too with somebody else over at the range yeah but uh, where i was gonna go with this was whatever happened to the traditional days where people you should just take it to the course or the court and battle these things out because with this elon musk mark zuckerberg foolishness that i'm going on bro how do you guys talk about getting the coliseum for this why not but look how you you mentioned this. Like, when was that? A couple weeks ago or last week or something? Yeah, yeah. Italy's government has yeah. given them the but what, okay. What are they supposed to do? Boxing or wrestling? Like, what are we doing here? They're talking MMA. MMA? They're talking mixed martial arts. Yeah, eh? Yeah. yeah. Who, and what? Who did you say you think got it? Zuckerberg? Yeah. Nah, B. My, mom, my money's on Musk. Yeah, that's why you're, you're not going to lie. Money. I'll, I'll take that bet. How much you want to put on this? Whatever you want to put on it, man. Yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah. You got. Like, I tell you right now, it's gonna happen. This ain't a college football game. Yeah, but <laughs> we're not dealing with hum- a human being here. Uh, <laughs> when that alien when comes I, out, oh you, oh you think, oh you think, oh what? You, you think, <laughs> you think Zuckerberg's like, like not AI? You think he doesn't got his thing going on? What do you think he has a robotic arm or something? What is he gonna do? You don't know. Might not even be him. It's not, Elon's not the only game in town, bro. <laughs> yeah. Eh? <laughs> Oh, so you think it's gonna be two fake guys out there wrestling each other fighting? Nah, I'm joking with that. I'm just saying I'm not. <laughs> that's I'm, a joke. I'm, I'm not. I'm ba- okay. Then that's funny. I'm basing it on the that game. guy's not human, to but, me. but he's old. But yeah, but he's not human. That's fine. He's a old alien. I, I I think he loses. But GSP goes all man. I'll, I'll coach him, which is that. That's interesting. Coach who? Uh, Musk. Yeah, eh? yeah. He posted that I don't on, know why. on Twitter. I feel like I just said yeah eh, ten times in the last five minutes. Yeah, who cares? Everyone's saying. <laughs> Like a real Toronto man. Yeah. eh? Yeah, eh? Elon, eh? Because I'm not following this story enough to know what's going on. 
you had happen. sent me that I think you had, you had posted something in the group yeah, the other yeah, day yeah. and then it actually popped up as a news story when yeah. they were talking about it and yeah. I was like what like how are you really throwing this yeah. on the, the news right now why are we talking about this it, it's funny it's interesting what would be that might just be all right here's a real story that if it happens might just be the biggest combat sports event ever if that was to happen that's how big it would be in my opinion it would be pretty yeah, it would what be pretty would be crazy. bigger than that Conor McGregor, like, no, no, no it wouldn't. Because you got a whole different audience that doesn't watch this sort of stuff and interested yeah. to watch this and stuff. it's just going to be because of their names and who they are. 100%. Everyone that's got Facebook's watching that. <laughs> or a Tesla. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, got people on Mars watching that stuff. It's going to be the biggest fight ever. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> that, that'd be huge. And then on top of that, you... You do it in the Coliseum, which I don't think would happen. But imagine they That's did that gladiator shit, eh? Yo, That's oh my funny. god! I would, I would pay to watch that. I, I would mean, pay, I would pay good money to watch that. I don't know about, I don't know about paying. Some of them there. Oh, you're gonna IPTV that? Because <laughs> 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 you know it's gonna be on there. That's I don't know. For one. Thing. If anyone could block it, it's probably <laughs> these two guys. <laughs> It's probably these two guys. <laughs> That's one you should not watch on IPTV. <laughs> I'm going to track you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Man, send someone to get you for that that bill. Damn, yo. But I could, I definitely think this would be a huge event. It would be the biggest. Be I think it would be the biggest. It would be the biggest. And then they'll turn it into a movie, a documentary, all this other dumb shit. Depending on who wins. YouTube will probably have the streaming rights for it. Why? They Actually, well, Facebook? Well, Facebook's got to get what you about. I'm not a Facebook guy. I know nothing about Facebook. Facebook doesn't even exist to me, to be honest. Wow, that's crazy. I trust me. I know nothing about it. Nothing. I've opened it up a, a few times. Like I've seen other people you know have nothing about, about it. Nah, yo, that's crazy. It's so foreign to me. It's not even a joke. Wow. Instagram, I'm still struggling to navigate, and Twitter, that's on the back burner. So Facebook, pff, nothing yeah, about it. Yeah, Twitter. I just wrote, yo, I, I can't believe we're ignoring Twitter right now. Elon owns that too. Yo, Twitter, it's got streaming oh, rights to that too. Yeah. Right? So move Damn, over YouTube. Yo. YouTube ain't getting nothing. That's gonna be the comeback. Didn't he, think, didn't he bang the Google guy's wife? You know what he'll probably even, <laughs> You know what they'll probably even do Ex-wife. too? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you don't subscribe to that blue check mark stuff they're offering now, because you know you can pay for it or whatever, right? Man, every, everyone's. But you get what I mean? Yeah. If you don't have that, or you're going to have to pay a, at a premium price or something versus getting it at a discounted rate. Yeah. It's going to be one of those ones. They should do like a WWE Yeah, they have thing. this stuff all figured yeah. out already. They Loose, have it all figured out Loser leaves the web. No more internet for you. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> get Vince McMahon involved. Screw Dana. Oh, man. This all <laughs> seems like, I feel like we're giving these guys the plot right here. We could do good with a Facebook or Twitter sponsor. <laughs> <We could. laughs> or tesla <laughs> i can use I'm, one of those joints yeah yeah i could upgrade that well i wouldn't mind taking one of those x's the new x's 2.2 yeah 2.3 eh? 0 to 100 Whew. yeah you found one of a while ago yeah 0 to 100 and what 2 point something 2.2 it, it's in the twos it's under the threes for sure because yeah what's your dream car if you don't mind me asking um i don't mind you asking the the G Wagon six by six. You know what that is? I think so. So it's like funny enough, I was just looking at a G Wagon yesterday. Yeah, it's so funny. it's so it's a G Wagon, but yeah. it's got six wheels instead of Yeah, I think I know what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah. Those are rare. It's like what I also do want is a vet though. Yeah? Yeah. That's a dream car though? It's up there on my list. Yeah, well you pick one, man. Just, just what what would be yours? Like that that to me would just be like I've actually wanted that for a long time. Like that's the thing is, when you say dream car, does that mean it's not eventually going to happen because you're always dreaming about it? Because when that dream comes true, it's like I'm not. Even, I don't even want this anymore. No, dreams come true, and you just have your dream. I I guess you know what true. Um, but this whole electric versus gas stuff now, I'm trying to come off of this gas thing because I feel like the future, yes, is electric. The future, but I you haven't seen. I haven't the seen present a, brother. The I, present. Well, no, but I haven't seen a. Luxury vehicles have just transitioned over. We're talking like, about Tesla is a luxury vehicle. I mean, traditional manufacturers, Benz, yeah. Mercedes, it's got a key Audi, check BMW. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. Um, they have just started releasing their lines and whatever. Yeah, but I haven't seen an electric Rolls Royce yet or an electric Bentley. Where are we at with those guys? Um, because I'm gonna get a Bentley. I think I gotta have a Bentley. I think just because of the beat. I think my name. 
<laughs> they go together. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get that. Yeah. I think they're both owned by um, Volkswagen. And I guess we're probably not too far from seeing that. I want to know what those numbers are going to look like, though, because brand new, these Benzes and stuff are $180,000. If they're smart, maybe they never go electric. To you think keep, so? Just yeah. to keep to mm. keep that luxury up there? Like, what do you mean electric? No, yeah. luxury is gas. Make gas luxury. You get what That's I'm saying? That's probably what they're doing now. Yeah, maybe. We are giving them the game. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense though, doesn't it? It really like, does. Like if you're if you're really buying a high it end really luxury does. car and it's like you could afford your gas, you think somebody It really does. Yeah. Imagine these mofos really did that. So the way they're running up the price right now. Because that's what it's becoming. Yeah, then slowly you're only going to see these like Arab forcing, countries. Exactly. Like this, you're forcing us yeah. to get to go to this anyways. Yeah. Because I actually, I know, I think I did see not too long ago that somebody, might be Ferrari or one of them, already have one, I think, that they've made. That's electric? Yeah. I have seen one of those companies, like, the like, one of those manufacturers with one. The chain of Volkswagen cars is mm-hmm. crazy. Like the amount of luxury cars that are under Volkswagen. So for them, it's very easy to come up with one yeah. engine and put that engine in this other car. You get what I'm saying? Even them. Because they've seen some issues in the recent years too. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that that's kind of everybody. They recover from that pretty decently. What they do, fire the guy and hire another one. And that's all they have go. to do half the time. Off we go. Yeah. Their, their cars speak for themselves. Yeah. Germany just has so much good stuff, man. Just makes so many good things. Listen to this dick rider over here. Whatever. Whatever. I got... I got into this. What? There's a lot of products I feel like that come like out of what? Germany that are dope. Some of their shoes. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, their vehicles. Yeah. Even their water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Their soccer teams. Their beer. Oh, yes. That's yeah, just their true. beer is like. Pfft. You went to Germany before? Yes. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. So, yeah. It's, How about the women? I don't think I've ever been with a German girl. <laughs> yeah. I happen to know one. Yeah, I know them. What? Easy. Like, I, I, I know German girls. Not like that. But like, well, yeah. Oh, I know black one. You know a black German girl? Yeah. Okay, that, that's more exotic. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, t- we'll talk off here. <laughs> but before we go, because we are approaching that time of the day where I need to go. Um, I happened to go to a vegan spot yesterday. It's probably the best vegan, like, spot that i've been to in this just a cafe it's like a cafe right they have sweets and they have a few uh savory treats that you can purchase in there south asian guy that owns it and his wife absolutely amazing thank you come again definitely one of those ones yo yeah like definitely one of those ones uh i had the they had like these fake quesadillas in there yeah amazing and then um i had a cupcake it's called Caked Coffee. It's on Bloor Street at uh, Bloor and Keel. Okay. Absolutely amazing. But he and I actually had a really good conversation. Um, I told him I may or may not shout him out on here, but it was absolutely amazing. What was it called? Caked Coffee. Caked Coffee? Yeah. And it's like food food, not just... Yeah, they have a couple... They have like a pasta you can order, some fake quesadilla meat. They have drinks. I had a mango smoothie. Absolutely amazing! All of those mango smoothie, bro. <laughs> that, that, that's our thing. Mango shakes, to be correct. But yeah. So in my head, I was like, I'm gonna have to bring you over there one day because he is a wonderful human being. Oh, we really got to sit down and chop it up for a good while. And because I'm South Asian. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said he would check us out, and I feel like you guys would probably get along well. He's pretty cool. He does have a few tattoos though. There's a lot of jerks. Which I, I gotta take cool. you to. Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you got a few of those, eh? I got a few. All right, well, I'm not giving we'll, them any more shout outs. We'll figure something out. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it's almost 420. So, uh, behind the scenes, we're gonna not shout out again. If you don't know already, that's Woo! SB the student. I go by the name of Bun. Face didn't happen to be here today, but he will be here for the next episode. But in the meantime, enjoy. Yo, face, hit us up in the comment section, buddy.